Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Tormented Souls, where we last left off. Uh, we are trying to work this out. So, I mean, it says, though I still feel butterflies in my stomach, her cold skin under my caress how she loved the poems I would whisper to her the dis the disappointment I felt when I had to let her go it wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind um I mean <sighs> okay so I actually have the the puzzle um next to me here um but i still don't really understand because look okay so basically how to complete the puzzle so it says there although i still feel the butterflies in my stomach no nope, that's the second part so i could never remember so it's head and then although i still feel the butterflies in my stomach so it's stomach her cold skin under my caress, which is the hand. She loved the poems that I would whisper to her, which is the throat. The disappointment I felt when I had to let her go, which is heart. And it wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind, which is uh, throat again. So, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It does kind of make a little bit of sense. So, we want head. And we want stomach. Then hand. Then throat. Then heart. Then throat again. And that was horrifying. So, yeah, kind of uh, me being a little bit of a dumb, but... Eh, doesn't matter. We got it. We got it in the end. Okay, so let's have a little look down here. Oh, cutscene. A child? I think what makes this game um, not scary in the slightest is the fact that the characters... Well, I mean, the monsters are kind of okay, but the characters look like cartoon characters. I think that's the problem. It just kind of, like, makes it look a little bit silly. But anyway, keeping a child locked up in there, that's pretty horrendous, actually. Who are you? You don't seem to be one of them. One of them? What are you doing down here? My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in the cell. Please, miss. You have to help me get out of here. Ooh. Of course. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, apparently, I ran out of hard drive space for recording. That's never happened to me before. Um, somehow. Uh, okay. I've been recording a lot of Halo matches. And apparently that has eaten like hundreds of gigabytes of, of my hard drive. So that's all gone. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. Uh, okay, miss. Where are your parents? So the only thing you've missed is basically she's asked for help. And Caroline here has agreed to help her. My father is on a business trip. He should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. 
I'm so sorry. I'll get you out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. I thought her mother actually succeeded in breaking her out. Or well, I guess that was before this happened. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them. And I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. Okay. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Acid. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Okay. I guess we can use acid here. Will take days to have an effect. What have you done to the lock, miss? Uh, I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. Oof. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. Why are you lying to me? I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, listen to me. Okay. Um. Uh, so many questions. Like, I'm guessing she is our sister. Right? Because we're the other twin. Right? I mean, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, save tape. Very nice. So I guess we can. But how have we gone back into the past through a videotape and we've managed to talk to our sister or well let's just say one of the twins and i'm guessing the fact that we've put acid on that is going to break it when we get back to our time but i mean i know it's a video game right but that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, we have literally used a video tape, like the fucking Ocarina of Time, to go back in time. Somehow. What? Eh? Okay. Uh, sure. Look, sure, game. Whatever. Alright, I... Yeah, I mean, I don't really like to pick out plot holes too much in video games, but seriously? Okay, alright, anyway, well, I, I mean, I guess we can go back down now, and um, open the, the door that Anna was in? Where, where, where are we going? Where was the way down? Yeah, it's his. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, behind this couch. Like, I, I mean, okay, look. So, Jimmy's been saying this game is anus, which is fair, you know. Um, I mean, I, I, I've been kind of enjoying it, to be honest. But that, that's just trash. Like, I'm trying to work out how. They're going to explain the fact that we went in time with a videotape, spoke to Anna, we picked up a save 
tape as well and brought that into the future with us uh, what like I mean who's huffing the gas here because it you know the experiments on people and stuff I can kind of get behind I can understand that. that's where the creatures are coming from but time travel okay that yeah sure so yeah the acid that we applied in the past has broken the lock somehow but but we we didn't we didn't really go back to the past though did we? I don't know. All right. Anyway, uh, that 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 one scene there has just <clears throat> kind of okay. Because you can't even say that she was just you know watching the videotape back and noticing these things, because you know I can watch say I don't know, fucking Die Hard, right? And I can notice things there. But I can't talk to John McClane, you know? I cannot interact with him. I can't give the fellow some shoes. So what is going on here, honestly? Anyway, 15th of November, 1980. <clears throat> something very odd happened. A woman holding a lighter that brightened my... So that did happen! How... What? How... I thought this was about radiation or something. Okay, so, Jesus. Something very odd happened. A woman holding a lighter that brightened my prison appeared from the darkness. At first I was afraid, but her features reminded me of mother. She came close to me and told me that she would help me get out of here. Then she poured acid on the cell door lock. She showed me the picture that father took of Emma <clears throat> and me a couple of days ago told me that she'd received it in the mail more than a week ago after that she left with the promise of returning the acid worked the woman was right just as i needed to wait luckily the suited men have not arrived yet i will find a place to hide until father returns from his trip so we did manage to get her out oh the combination key it's missing a dial Nice. Uh, I'm guessing we can now get into all those uh, all those doors. But, like, I mean, at least try to make sense, game. You know. Uh, I think this game doesn't really know what it wants to be. Because it's trying to have the serious, realistic worldly tone and you know talking about like radiation and experiments and stuff but now we're going like all mystical with apparent time travel and stuff are we gonna have ghosts next or something like hmm okay game okay Right, well, let's go and try and work out some of these doors. What's the best way to get out of here? Morgue. I guess we can just go straight up to the main hall, can't we? We've got a lot of these rooms to check out, haven't we? Uh, yeah, that's kind of like really blown my um, belief shall we say of this game like that that's <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it annoyed me but it annoyed me right because that's just for me at least turned the story into a steaming pile of ass because it doesn't make sense it doesn't make any sense with the rules that they've given us so far for this universe. But sure. Okay, so 
what have we got here? We've got oh, right. How the fuck does this work? So we've got a Tetris piece. We've got a. S uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next thing. How do we work these moon logic things out? A C. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Could a C? No. Is it a negative space thing? Uh. So could that be that? Uh. Triangle, maybe. Yeah, maybe a triangle, and then that is like a star. Is it? Did that work? It did! Okay. So yeah, like that was a negative space thing. But some of these things are really weird. Anyway. What's that? What's this for? So, a letter. Do I need to take a photo of that? Take a photo. So, that's kind of strange. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, that whole plot thing of going... Right, there we go. Let's take a photo of that. That whole plot thing, I like, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's just, yeah. Oh, don't mind if I do. We must have a few of those by now. We've got five of them. All right. Well, I mean, I'm happy with that. Oh, and some shotgun shells. Great. Great stuff. Save disc and shotgun shells. And it looks like there's another room. So let's try and be 100% sure we have everything. I think so. Very difficult to find all of the um, files, like we said before, because nothing glints, nothing shines. You know? Oh, that's... Oh, I was going to say, that just leads back to the main hall. Well, that's crap, but no. No, it leads here. Oh. Uh. I guess that's to do with the puzzle that we've just seen. Question mark. Which, yeah, it has to be. Because it was a square. Okay. So. Let me just get. So I'm guessing. That is two. Right. Okay. So five. I haven't got a clue what we've got to. Five, one. All right, let's read this diary first. Ah, right, okay. The new receptionist told me that no matter how hard he tries, he cannot unlock the cash register. It looks like the only one who can get it to open is Dr. Sean Meyer, who's been missing for the last week. I checked his personal belongings and couldn't find anything more than a piece of paper under his desk. It's like someone erased all traces of him. That's weird. Uh, okay. I mean, that is certainly a piece of paper. Let's take a f shot of that. Right. I mean, I've got to be fair. Like, some of these puzzles are actually really good. The story is very odd. Uh, so I'm guessing it's three, eight... That be a nine. Could that be a six? Let's 
try nine. Five. No. Okay, so we've got to work out what these different things are. So, trouble is, it's easier to explain it if I go. Maintenance logbook. So we've missed maintenance log, right. So, I mean, like one, two, three, and then you've got four. Can we zoom in? We can't zoom in. But what would that be, for instance? And that. Curious. Unless, hang on, hang on. Let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, so. Oh. Oh, right, so it's fucking reversed. So three is that side. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, so. So I'm guessing it's going to be one. Oh, two's there though. Wait. What? So, files. Where's the maintenance log? So, maintenance log book. Right, let's use the mouse a minute. We can't actually examine this or, like, enhance it or anything. So, I have no idea what that's going to be. Okay. Uh, But according unless these are buttons maybe get my other photo back up here so see that is a two but that's not a two right so, okay, one second, guys. Let me uh, fiddle around with this one. And let's see if I can work it out. Hey, guys. Right, okay. So, I've looked around and I fiddled with this. We actually have, uh, there's five symbols in all uh, with the two that I've taken a photo of. Um, but I'm going to be honest, like, I have no idea what the fuck this shit means. I don't know whether it's some kind of equation or something that I'm just, I've never seen before. I'm not sure. Um, but essentially, that is supposed to be zero, uh, four, zero, or yeah I I don't know I have no idea um, so we want zero four uh, one four sorry there we go so what was that we get morphine yes and a coin coin with some kind of symbol now there's a vending machine that needed a coin uh, I can't remember where that was, though. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I have no idea how you're supposed to work that one out. Like, that is total moon launch. Oh, the coin that was in here. Yeah. Use. Ooh. Uh... The hell is this? Shh. 
shit. Oh, this is going to be AIDS. I hate these games. Okay, that actually took quite a lot of time. And we got... Da, 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 da. Oh. Red blood cells. Okay. Well, I mean, I have no idea where we use that to. For stimulation purposes... For simulation purposes only. Not for human or animal use. Simulation. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go open another door. And... Get out of here. Where should we open next? I guess we should go... Actually, there was one this way, wasn't there? And this is close to a save area. Oh. Yeah, these puzzles, man. Bloody hell. And we've got the original door. And then it's probably close to save time. I would imagine. By the time I've cut this video up to about 70 billion different um, parts. Right, so we have aliens, we have Egypt, and we have bees. And... Earthlings? Coming from America? Okay. I mean, sure. Make, I mean, bees. Honey? Aliens? Star? The fuck are the Egypt Egyptians? What would Egypt be? The thing is, you just, it doesn't tell you if you get one of these right. Alright. Handle... Oh, yeah. So... It was Star Triangle um, and... Okay, so what does triangle have to do with Egypt? Am I, oh, pyramid! Are oh, you nutsack? Oh, it's so obvious! Are oh, you absolute donkey? Jesus Christ, that was fucking obvious! All right, okay. So William Wildberger's diary, seventeenth September, nineteen forty-one. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At mother's tomb, my father sank to his knee, knees and rested his hands on the cold sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began... We've read. I felt guilty following him, seeing the cold, calculated man. This all. We've already read this. We've already got that one. Okay, I. Uh, Sure, I guess. Why would... Why would they give you that again? Right, this seems pretty ominous in here. Maybe not. Ooh, a high power charge can be used with an electric lance. Okay, we've got some powerful capacitors there. Uh, 
and an old car battery. Where was it? We found somewhere we, we could charge a battery. Yes. Is that it? I guess we've got a med pack, but no ammo. Nothing? Really? Oh. Oh, entrails have been placed on a weighing scales. Oh. Okay. Sure. I thought we'd be able to actually, you know, do something with it. I'm going to have to look that, that up. But why did we get the same diary twice? I'm definitely not crazy. We've definitely had that diary before. Right, anyway, uh, I don't really know how long this video is because of all the cuts and problems. So let's go and save it. Uh, East Wing Corridor. So we... Ah, uh, I wish... Yeah, they still highlight even though we've already done them. That's curious. Right, I haven't actually saved it for the last like three or four videos, so... Let's go do that now. Yeah, because these things have been created. I mean, you could see him creating one when we went back in time. Because he'd smashed all of its face out to put this breathing apparatus in. But, why? And then he was cutting their legs off as well. Again, I can't really understand why. Like, if he was doing it for a reason, and it was like making them stronger or faster or something, but... There's no, um, there's no explanation for any of it. Anyway, let's save the game. Um, sure. Save it under the oldest one. After going through that strange projection, I found myself in a place I'm sure I have been before. But it was different, as if it was the same place at another time. It gave me a feeling I didn't belong. Like your voice does not belong. It really seems out of place. I discovered something terrible. A young girl locked in a cell. Who could do such a horrible thing to a child? There is a robust lock holding the cell door. I don't think I'll be able to locate the key, so I should find another way to open it. We have done. I have to get her out of there. Well, I mean, we have done, so, you know. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I guess we're going to continue opening the last two doors. We do have a blood pack now, but I have no idea what we're supposed to do with it. Uh, I'm sure we'll fumble our way through. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.